case study that we have with the a real estate company in Europe, uh, in Holland in particular, what they what the issues they were facing was occupant discomfort. So this is uh, they own the building, they rent out the different floors to the different tenants. So the people that were complaining about discomfort, complaints, and illnesses were actually their tenants, not the landlord itself. And they didn't have any data to be able to manage their HVAC properly. And they hired a third party consultant to assess their building. And the recommendation of that consultant was to spend approximately $150,000 to retrofit the building with a new HVAC system because they suspected it wasn't working properly. But the biggest problem that they really had was it's a full building, but they only had a few months left before the tenants were about to terminate their contracts. None of them wanted to renew because none of them felt comfortable inside the building. They, were, they just didn't trust anymore. So they wanted to terminate all their rent contracts. So that was the major problem that they had. So what we told this company was, why don't you just deploy you inside the building, inside your tenant spaces, and let's understand what's going on. With this data, we can take proper action. So what they realized from the data was that the environment was too dry. That's why people were getting a sore throat. They were complaining about uh, feeling sick inside. And when they went into the, different, into the different seasons, they can see that the humidity would shift in big ranges and their building was not adopting to it because they didn't have the data to actually adjust the humidity in the building. But with the data that we provided, they were able to start managing the building much more efficiently and properly. So that adjustment in humidity helped in improving what people feel. The, another aspect they realized was that CO2 was extremely high. Safe levels are normally at the 800 parts per million mark, but their CO2 levels were at 2,500. So that's more than three times the safety limit. So because the building was not being, didn't uh, run the ventilation system properly. That's why people would feel stuffy. They just don't feel comfortable, especially inside the meeting rooms. So these were major problems that they faced. And uh, another aspect, what happened was when they started adjusting all of these based on the data, 95% of the complaints disappeared within two months. And because the complaints disappeared, they didn't see the need to retrofit the building with a new HVAC system. They realized that they can actually manage the HVAC system by themselves because they have the data. So they were able to save that $150,000. And just after four months, they were able to get everybody in the building to renew their rent contracts. So instead of becoming an empty building, it's still a fully occupied building. So in terms of the value that they achieved were, it's all four that I mentioned earlier at the beginning of the presentation, health and productivity, uh, sustainability certifications, because they utilize the data for recertification of the building for the BREAM standard. And they also were able to generate revenue because instead of an empty building, they were able to reduce the churn, keep the tenants. So they kept the revenue that they wanted. And using the data, they're also looking at how to optimize the HVAC to reduce energy consumption. So an estimated ROI that they had is 15 times of what they uh, spent on deploying Yuhu inside the building. So th these are three of the case studies that we have. And in terms of where we're at today, we have deployed our product through tens of thousands of customers around the world. So we also cater to corporations, to home consumers, and to government. So that's the end of our presentation.